I went back to the beginning. I went back to the patient and started interviewing patients and asked the key question. See, the right people. If you don't have the answer, you're either asking the wrong people, in other words, my colleagues, the textbooks, the, the, the different meetings, or you're asking the wrong question. And in, in my case, I was asked, it, it was both. I was asking the wrong people and I was asking the wrong question. So the right person to ask is the patient who has the problem. And almost magically, so quickly, you know, they gave me the key. They didn't give me the solution, but they gave me the key that opened the door. And that is when I kept hearing, if I put my finger, my tongue, a pencil eraser, a piece of cloth between my front teeth and bite down, it feels better. Made a device that separated the back teeth and the rest is history. That was the beginning of inductive reasoning because after um, I determined that how effective it was after 30, 40, 50 tries with patients and got the same results, I was mystified and I then had to figure out anatomically, histologically, neurologically, um, even using physics, because the jaw is nothing more than a lever arm. The jaw is a lever arm. It has a single attachment, bilateral attachment.